Hard News. I'm your host, Olga, and this is Mo. Today we have an interesting story about continu continuous conflicts occurring between the British and the French. Yes, this all started when the French began to settle in <laughs> North America. They started to expand their lands, which eventually collided with the rapidly growing British Empire. France and Great Britain had already been in three wars in the 15 previous years. Each of these wars all began in Europe and spread to the Americas. Things became peaceful for a short period of time, but in 1754, conflict started to occur again. This happened when the French built Fort Dukins, where they were the Alhany and Monogahale rivers met each other in Ohio. The problem was the same exactly the same exact land has been granted to well to British planters along with two hundred thousand additional acres. This had been granted by Virginia. The governor of Virginia was extremely anger extremely angered by this. In his anger he sent a group of Minutemen to tell the French to evacuate the land. This band of men was led by George Washington who established an outpost 60 miles from the French port. The Minutemen attacked the French and took some prisoners, but as a reflex, the French counterattacked the British. In July 1754, the French took everyone by surprise when they outnumbered the Minutemen, forcing Washington to surrender. This was the event which opened up what the generals are calling the French and Indian War. A year after George Washington and his group of Minutemen were defeated, Washington headed into battle to aid Edward Beck. Bardock, who was attempting to drive the French out of Ohio. Bardock and 1,500 men marched to attack Fort Dickson. While they were marching, they were ambushed by the Native Americans who were allied with the French. The British fled. Oh no, it's <laughs> King George II was very upset by this. He selected William Pitt to help raise up a stronger army. Pitt's plans are to assemble 50,000 soldiers in the 1759 war took a dramatic turn outside of Quebec. The British scaled the cliffs and took a surprise attack on the French. The British finally tasted victory. The Treaty of Paris ended the war in 1763. Under this treaty, there were territories divided which greatly favored the British because they won the war and the French and Native allies lost. Good morning and welcome back to, back to BART News. Today we received information about a movement taking place in the colonies. Since the Enlightenment, people have started to question the church because things were starting to be ex by science. Isn't that right, Mo? Yes, Olga. Well, the church has started to weaken because of this. Many people started to act unchristian to one another. This inspired some to be a light in the darkness and spread the love of God. One man, Jonathan Edwards, who was a prominent member of the church, sought to revive the Puritans. In a sermon, he describes God's love and mercy. As a result of his powerful preaching, all different types of people started to attend church. Natives Africans and colonists alike they are all calling this movement the Great Awakening. Welcome back to BART News. I'm Mulder Newsman. Oh, what's this? Breaking news. We have a live interview with our friend William Pitt to you, Olga. Hello, and welcome to BART News. I'm your host, Olga. We're so glad to have you here today, Mr. Pitt. Happy to be here, Olga. So tell us, what are you planning on doing exactly? Well, I have the vision to create the largest American army of all time so far, um, with 50,000 men. <gasps> wow, that certainly sounds impressive. How did this opportunity come about? It's all thanks to King George II. Um, 1757, he replaced me with George Washington. And how is that going for you? Well, I believe I'm the only one who can actually, you know, dig us out of this hole after the past few years. Um, the war with the friends. Wow. Well, that sounds like a wonderful plan. How confident are you in your success? I'm very optimistic um, because my hopes are high. Wow. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Now, we'll be right back. We're going to have a quick commercial break. Does duct tape really work? I believe so, yes. No. Could it hold me up against this wall? I know for a fact that it could. All right. We'll try it. Yeah. Take a picture of him, not me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> you sit up here. You sit up here. I'm comfy. I can fall asleep here. Except it's ripping off hair and it hurts. There's it. There's it. Doherty said it wouldn't work. And now we're back with Mr. William Pitt. Yeah. I'm here. I'm Helga. Olga had to go finish some business. Yeah. She did. What has happened since we last saw you, Mr. Pitt? Well, uh, in recent years, the uh, army has uh, really gone downhill. But uh, thanks to uh, Alliance of the Natives, we've won this war. What a feat. How on earth did you manage that, Mr. Pitt? We actually uh, captured the uh, leader of Quebec, and for a couple of years we fought, and then we gained control of most of North America and Canada. Yes. 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 I congratulate you on this wonderful success, and hope that there are many more to come. Thank you again, Mr. Pitt. Back to you, Olga. Welcome back. I'm Olga, and this is Barney. Speaking about the natives, the Atoa tribe is a popular subject for a lot of colonists today. Pontiac and the Atoan tribe leader, I mean, Pontiac, the Atoan tribe leader, has recently been complaining about the British. Apparently the British have scared away the game that the natives have relied on to survive for generations. As an effect of this, Native Americans captured eight forts in Ohio. Also, the, native, the natives laid siege on two of the British forts. The British, who were deeply angered by this, created a terrible plan to get the natives, Native Americans back. The British generals gave the native leaders a few blankets as a peace treaty. Little did the natives know that these blankets were in reality infected with smallpox, the disease spread to the native village and devastated them. The British bring you blankets as a peace offering. How? By 1763, the natives were completely weakened by the disease and wounded from fighting. They had no choice but to make a peace treaty with the British. The British forbid any settlements west of the Appalachian Mountains in the Proclamation of 1763. This agreement angered the colonists because they wished to expand their land as far as they could. Instead, they expanded their land illegally because there's no law enforcement. Um, from the government's law. As a result of this, Pontiac was deeply angered and made a speech to unite his tribe and inspire them to keep fighting against the British. Ear, it's not on. Let's go live on the scene. Yeah. How? The British, they come in and they take our land. In our water. This is, this is not good. We have to fight for what is rightfully ours. We have to... Keep pressing on! Ah! 